you cannot absolutely cannot miss this movie Hi everyone welcome to Edge React and Review my name is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well and Netflix India a couple of days back released probably one of the most relevant films ever the Tamil film Mandela it was on the trending list so i just clicked on it with absolutely zero expectation and my jaw probably dropped on the floor after finishing this film because i was just left in awe so yes without delaying this any further let's get into the detailed analysis The storyline is the whole and soul of the film. The story is set up in a village where there are frequent clashes between two communities that is the northerners and the southerners. They are always at each other's throats and if not for the village leader they would have probably be involved in a bloodbath. The leader has two wives as he married one woman from each of the community to avoid violent clashes. Now this is the kind of setup and the world that has been built around which a local election takes place. The leaders from both the groups fight for every last vote that they can get and what all events lead to getting these votes is the basis of the story in this absolute chaotic and an almost violent election scenario an underprivileged hairdresser becomes the deciding vote and this completely changes the game of the election now the storyline on the surface would feel like a typical political drama but it is so nuanced and layered that it is one of the most realistic films that i've seen in the recent times Madhavan Ashwin is the writer as well as the director of this beautiful beautiful film so let's talk about the writing aspect first number 1 the topic chosen itself is quite complex it's about vote politics caste politics corruption and overall value of what difference one single vote can make but all of these complex topics have been written around the narrative of a small village so even though all these topics have been scaled down to a smaller geography it can be extrapolated to the end entire country and that is how beautiful the writing is number 2 the use of humor and satire to address all of these issues related to vote politics and caste politics the writing has such a perfect balance of satirical punches and raw emotions that it is bound to hit the right chords and most importantly get the right message across to the audience number 3 beautiful meaningful and impactful dialogues so many dialogues are relevant and relatable and one can actually relate it to the election scenario of the nation number 4 and this is probably my favorite aspect about the writing was the depiction of how invaluable one single vote is when we as citizens get the power to vote what do we use it for do we use it for our own benefit or do we exercise that vote for the welfare of the society at large the depiction of this choice is written flawlessly as per me overall satire and humor has been used beautifully to sensitize the audience about the importance of this topic direction is also top notch and what i really liked was how every aspect of the film making was taken care by him the way the characters were detailed out the beautiful cinematography the score the production design the way every issue was raised was near perfect for me you can feel that there was a sense of responsibility in the director's mind when he was making this film along with a little burning rage maybe inside of him as a viewer i could really sense that the director was extremely passionate about getting the story across getting the message across and was extremely passionate about this topic in particular the movie's editing is its best technical highlight the movie is almost 2 and a half hours long but it is so engaging that it feels like a breeze every scene that has been put has some relevancy and context i didn't even mind the addition of the beautiful songs in the movie they really did not break the flow for me film and raj has done a fabulous edit the flow from one scene to another and holding the narration together has been done superbly Vedu Ayana's cinematography is a beautiful piece of art. That's how I would describe it. The sheer rawness of the village has been perfectly captured. There are several scenes which involve a huge crowd of people where you see like you know people from both the communities having a brawl or you know they're fighting it out and the camera work is so engaging. It is impeccable. In fact, the way this entire movie has been shot, it's extremely dynamic. The camera literally does not stay still. Before your eyes can 
register what is happening and send that signal to the brain suddenly something else will happen on the screen and you will become extremely alert now it could have gone either way but here the execution is beautiful I fell in love with the songs. I genuinely fell in love with all the songs. And usually, what happens is when there is, you know, a satire involved or a political drama of sorts. I really don't like having songs there because for me, it really breaks the flow. Here, it did not happen for reasons best known to my brain and heart. I was vibing with each song, especially the song Ella Mandela, which I'm guessing is the title track. Another track, Yella Yellow, is so addictive. You cannot. help but repeat that line in your brain yella yello yella le yello oh it's a beautiful song if not for yogi babu i don't think i would have enjoyed this movie as much as i did it his comic timing his expressions his dialogue delivery his raw emotions everything was pitch perfect it is a performance that deserves all the attention and accolades in fact when i was watching this film his face seemed very familiar to me and i was wondering if i've watched any of his other films or not so i checked his filmography and he has done like a small role in chennai express and i actually went back and searched for those scenes in chennai express but my god yogi babu is just He is a gem of an actor, man. The remaining supporting cast, comprising of Sheila Rajkumar, Sangli Murugan, G N Sundar, and Kanna Ravi, were brilliant as well. I loved how Sheila's character was the voice of reason for Mandela. She brought a certain gravitas to the role that I really, really adored. Even the boy who played the role of Sideburn, he was so. God I don't know his name if somebody knows please let me know in the comment section below but I think he did an impeccable job the rift shown between the two leaders of both the groups that has been played by GM Sundar and Kanna Ravi was so engaging and engrossing in fact I kept thinking what is the, what are they going to do next to each other how are they going to outdo each other in every scene I was wondering that and for both of them the combination and the balance of that menace as well as humor was beautiful If you still have not watched this film I highly highly recommend you to watch it it is streaming on Netflix and this is the kind of film that needs to be watched by every citizen of the country because it highlights all these real issues in such a good manner and you know you really understand how the nuances of these caste politics and vote politics work even though like i said the geography of the story it's scaled down it's only you know restricted to a small village but you can really extrapolate it to the entire country that is how amazing this movie is so yes those were my thoughts on the netflix tamil film release mandela please do catch it on netflix please please i'm really highly highly recommending watching this movie and yes those were my thoughts and i hope you've enjoyed this review and i've come till the end of the video i'll see you on my next video guys bye bye